G'day, I'm Teo, and this is another exercise with AC Toolbox. I'm having a look at serialism. got the idea from the computer music magazine in the Off the Dial column by Rashmiel, and he did a bit of an introduction into it. And I thought rather than entering in notes, I'd crack out AC Toolbox and have a look at creating functions and formulas which will do the work for me. In the first section here, we have a data section which specifies some node events which can be created. We've got a 200 millisecond clock, a rhythm of one, that's one event every 200 milliseconds. For an example, we're just going to crank out 36 notes. The pitch is a bit more interesting. We've got a series of pitch values ranging from 60 to 71, and they're going to be selected randomly, but only once, every time it goes through that series of pitches. So that's going to be done three times because there's 12 pitches. The random value, to provide a bit of interest, is going to be between 70 and 100. And it's all being sent out by channel 1, which in this instance is being sent out to the IAC driver IAC bus 1, being picked up by live, and then routed out through rewire to reason, because I particularly like their pianos. Anyway, that's the data section definition, the plot of how it would look, and this is how it sounds. With the second section, Serial 2, we're going to develop it further by giving serial choice to rhythm and velocity. Here again, one value is selected out of the group until in, all the group is played, but only one value is played once. And again with velocity, we have a series of velocity values. This is what it'll look like plotted out in terms of rhythm and pitch. And this is what it sounds like. In the third section, we're going to play two series of pitch values. Each are defined and named separately. The first one, serial 48, again is a series choice between 48 and 59. And we have a second se series choice, serial 60, between 60 and 71. Now they're played in the pitch section here. So it's a random choice between either one of these two stockpiles and once that stockpile is played the second stockpile is selected and played. We can have a look at the plot so you can see groups of stockpiles being played in sequence and we can have a bit of a listen. In the last example, we'll get a bit more complicated. The rhythm and the velocity are the same. 
in, in the previous examples, that is series choices from a specific range. The pitch, however, is just a named stockpile. That named stockpile is built up from cascading development of other stockpiles. We start, start off by selecting random, random choices from particular patterns. This then is used to create on-the-fly values which further add or subtract octaves depending on a choice. The choice can be generally 60% chance of nothing happening and 20% chance of going up an octave or down an octave. Because it's then a named value in the pitch, we can actually refer to it when we calculate the channels. If the note values are less than 60, it can be sent out to channel 2. If it's greater than 68, we can send it out to channel 3, and otherwise it can be sent out to MIDI channel 1. We can make that and then have a look at the plot of the MIDI events. and we can play it. I'll just stop it there for the moment. Now given all this work, one of the advantages with AC Toolbox is once you've created one pattern and a template, you can actually then remake these into different versions of tunes. So you can create quite a large variety of different sections of music and integrate them in a number of different ways. Anyway, that's enough for serialism for today.